Hello everyone, it's me Jesse, and today I'm going to be doing a rain balloon tutorial. This rain balloon tutorial is going to be a, a tutorial of Dragon Scale Cuff. So this is my bracelet, and yeah, it's red and white for my Halloween costume because I'm going to be doing, I am going to be Waldo. So yeah. And this is another bracelet of Dragon Scale Cuff, 5 pin, so you get the idea of what it looks like. Anyways, let's get started! For this tutorial, you'll be needing elastic bands, colors of your choice, and as many elastic bands as you want. You'll be also needing a hook, a C-clip, and your loom. For this tutorial, you will only be needing one strip of your loom. So you could just keep those out and set them as I have. And put aside your C-clip and just keep your hook by your side for now. Let's get started. Okay, so for this bracelet here, you see the red? Yeah, that's the color we're going to be doing first. and. So technically, it's the color that you want to see more of. And for this bracelet, it is the green. So for this bracelet, I want to show more of my neon yeah, neon orange. Sorry. And you can start this anyway, anywhere on your loom. And also make sure the the U's are facing that way. So to start off your bracelet, you want to just start it off wherever you want and um, get your elastic and then twist it on the next one. Push it down if you want. And for this one, you leave a gap. So just leave a gap. And then you want to get this and put it here. And again, you want to get a cap. No, you want to make it a gap. I'm so sorry. And twist it. So that's simple. Now you want to get your next color. Mine is pink. And you want to put it in the gaps. The one that we just left. So pretty simple. And then you want to get your hook. Sorry. And you just want to not go in. You do not want to go in and then take it. You want to go from the outside, get it, and then put it. So basically, you just do it and here too, and then like that. So you see how this is twisted and this is not? I suggest you just leave this one untwisted too. Because it doesn't really need to be twisted. Anyways, so now let's actually get started with the bracelet. So for this, you're just going to do the same thing, but you do not twist it, and you don't do the pink at the same time. You'll get what I mean as we continue. So, go, go like this, and you just do the exact same thing, but you do not twist it. Skip, make a gap, go to the next one, and then go to the next one. Now, as I said, we're not going to be doing the gaps. We are going to be looming them. So just get the bottom band and bring it up. Get the bottom band and bring it up. Bottom band up. Bottom band up. Bottom band up. Bottom band up. So your way of keeping track of which color to do next. This is my way of rememberizing. So you see how these these ones in the middle, all four of these, out are orange. When I do the pink, they'll be pink. So the color that they are now are the colors that you just did. So if you take a break, because this could take a while, just look at these four bands and you'll notice that, oh, okay, now I gotta do my other one. The next color. And you'll see what I mean. So, 
For the pink, you just want to go in the gaps. Pretty simple, isn't it? So, yeah. Just do that, and then always loom the bottom band, and make sure there's only one band there. Not two, one. Like that. And there you go. So, that's pretty much it. You keep on doing it, and as you could tell, it is pink. So, that's just how you can memorize it. That's my way. Because if you have to go to the washroom, <laughs> there you go. Anyways, I'll get back to you guys when it's done and we're connecting them together. Okay, I'm back. And I just finished my bracelet. And so when you end off, um, make sure you're like, make sure your outer color is like that. And what you want to do is bring the end here and then bring it over to the side there and bring it to that and then just make sure to put it ooh good like that and this is my bracelet I used of course you could tell the colors and now that you I forgot didn't really forget but instead of one C clip you need more than one C clip. You need three C clips. So I got that all my C clips from my banana boat. <laughs> and so what you gotta do is you can use the next pins and stretch them out like that. And then you can just easily just place it down on both of them and then just stretch them out for all of them so yeah this is just the bracelet when it's done just gonna put them on all of them here oh. and then now you can just take them out and then there you go and now that you got those at the end you see these three rubber bands here loosest ones at the very end bring them all together and then get the c-clips over here hold them with your two fingers and i usually spread my fingers out like that and then just clip it on and then you gotta do this with your middle. So I'll stretch, then clip it on. And then last one, stretch, clip it on. So there you go. This is your this is your dragon scale cuff. Oop. And there you go. Thank you guys for watching. Rate this video if you liked it very much. And also comment down below what you're going to be for Halloween. See you guys next week. Bye!